I am not going to kill Siabo Mangezana. He himself, he knows he committed blunders. In fact, the first two goals was because of his fault. But I'm not going to kill him. These are the words from 10 Triple One, uh, her Kaza Chiefs head coach at that one, is saying, no, there will be certain things that will be done to prevent the situation of me maybe having to kill Ungezana. You want to know how he will not kill Ngezana? Then please stick around. To those that will stick around, guys, if you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, good people, it is free of charge. Guys, there's a word called join. Please become a member of this YouTube channel. That's the best way to support from as little as 20 rand a month. There's also a button called thanks. That's the best way you can donate any amount of your choice. Now that is out of the way. Good people, I have a special announcement. Please check the video where I'm doing the special announcement. And I'm gonna, I have probably four of special announcements that I want you guys to, to watch. Some of them I'm still gonna give you as time progresses. Yeah, I've got special announcement, guys. Please, please, please. Let's get into what Atazane has got to say about Ungezana. He has got this to say. If you look at how it happened, it happened early in the game and from there he, he couldn't recover. Hmm, okay, that's Gezan. It's unlike Sia. Sia is one of Sia is one player that is one versus one situation. He's one of the best defenders we have. For an example, the the fourth goal where they played the ball down the line. In this situation, in, in, in those situations, Sia usually comes on top. Unfortunately, he was not himself today. I think because of the knee as well. He actually came to me after the game against the Marisbeck because remember, he couldn't finish the game. He came to me and said, I'm not 100%, but I will give my best. I say, try and if you can't, we will take you out and bring someone else. Okay? We didn't want to break that combination because him and Zita, most especially in, the, in this kind of game, they were coming to play here. Unfortunately, he was not himself. He was not at his best and he had, uh, he had to commit and that killed his confidence. We show others one. But these things, they do happen in football. I'm not going to kill him because of that. We will try and help him to lift his spirit up in training. Many other players are still going to commit some, uh, such mistakes and we will move on. We will get better with time and we will make mistakes. Um, even, even if I think the referee made a mistake, they gave Zita the yellow card um, when he wasn't even his foul. But, it, but it's one of those things. What I'm trying to say is that we, will all, we are all human beings. We are bound to make mistakes. It's part of the game. We learn from those mistakes and we will move on. Right. Hmm. Quite interesting. You know why? Because honestly speaking, uh, yeah, Kaza Chief, we've got a lot of players in that position. Hmm, what will argue and say, but Zwane, why wouldn't you bring other players in that position if he was not 100%? We hear the justification to say, hey, combination, bra 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 bra, but he's not 100%. You know what I'm saying? Are you trying to say that other players, hmm, you know what I'm saying? Because you ended up substituting him either. Why did you bring him from the first place, Zwane? We hear the justification, but it's not sufficient. You know what I'm saying? Because we've got a lot of cover in that position. But okay, you guys, you do have your own thoughts. Get into the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the situation of Ngezana at Kaza Chiefs versus Sandals or Sandals versus Kaza Chiefs. The only way for me to know, it is for you to get into the comment section below. Let the conversation begin right now, right here.